Hey, what is going on there, people? My name is Matt or Primer, and today I am going to be taking the feeder off of this. Now, basically, what you want to do um, is take the feeder out of this. Now, this is the part that actually pushes up the BB, but it's actually not needed. So, we're just going to quickly take the spring out and take the feeder off. Now, these Mad Brand mid caps, these are the 120 ones, they're just plastic ones. These are so much easier to work on compared to say the P Max and stuff, those are impossible to get off. Okay, so first we're just gonna go ahead and take off the mag pole. Then there'll be a screw on the bottom, notice it's facing this way. So we're just gonna take a flathead screwdriver and spin it to the left. Make sure it's lurking because this piece can break reasonably easy so we're just going to go ahead and make sure it pops out easy. Spin it the other way. There it goes. You notice this piece comes off. We're going to set that down, let the spring come out. Notice it gets hung up a little bit. That's the problem with these mags. That's why we're doing this. Okay. Then this end, you'll see the header right here, the feeder, I mean. We're going to go ahead and just pop this off. Now, my camera can't focus in good because it's a 50 millimeter lens, but this is just a weird shaped piece of plastic crap. So we're going to throw that down. I'm going to go ahead and put back in. And as you can see, there's actually a BB stuck in there. It's exactly why we're doing this. The feeder, awful, man. I mean, all the feeders on these mags, the springs work better. Anyways, this is a little bit tricky. Make sure that you do this and don't get your spring messed up in there. Just slowly push it in there. Shouldn't be too hard as long as you're, have, you're using both hands, like I am. Okay, it's gonna get a bit harder at the end. It'll pop out maybe a few times to be expected. Just get it in there and make sure it sits flat. It's getting harder and harder as we go, so that's good. Get good spring tension in there. All right, there we go. So now, as we started, this piece was facing this way. So we're gonna start it facing to the right. Let me just check that. And now, this part is very important. You don't want to force anything. It's better to take your time and not snap anything than to brush it, just break it. Okay, face it to the right. Make sure it sits. Don't force it. Just try and help it a little bit. It's just a little piece of plastic, so you don't want to break it. We'll try it facing the other way. having a little bit of trouble again I'm not rushing it I've got all day all right there we go it sits flat and I'm just gonna spin it to the street now, I don't know why my camera didn't catch that part but I just basically did it in there and spun it okay now it's sitting flat it's all good same as normal and then we're going to take our little pair of scissors or anything and just basically make sure that the spring is facing right there we go it's perfect now here's our test okay and we'll eject them perfect and there's not a single bb in there if you could see it so that's a hundred percent great we'll put our magpo back on there we go. Um, I hope I caught the last part. Let me go ahead and check. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Magbrand, just 120 mid caps. Very easy. Makes them perform 10 times better. It's great. So go ahead and like the video if it helped you whatsoever. I highly recommend you do this to your mags. They won't be jamming or anything stupid like that. So it's just a great tutorial. Um, P mags there are videos out there to do it. It's a lot harder. I tried to make one. And I got so frustrated making it. I just stopped. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.